Welcome to Soundscape. I'm your host, Mike Schwartz. Very excited for the guest here to close out the season. I've got singer, songwriter, storyteller, author, Mr. Tanner James. Cecile, why won't you call my name? Oh, Cecile, why won't you kiss my face? Did I do you such wrong that I had to write this song? Cecile, why won't you be my girl? Cecile ain't got no New Year's kiss. Oh, seal ain't got no New Year's kiss But the boys lined up the block She was only there to talk Snuck in a cab and she went home by herself Oh, see It's just like thunder when you're waiting for the storm See, why won't you be my girl? Oh, see, why won't you be my girl? Where the boys lined up the block, but you were only there to talk. She snuck in a cab and she went home by herself. Oh, see, it's a see. It's just like thunder when you're waiting for It's just like thunder when you're waiting for It's just like thunder when you're waiting for The storm The storm Oh, the storm Oh, the storm For the storm Song's called All Girls Want, Don't Take It Too Personally. I saw you the other day with a man With a handlebar mustache and avid sunglasses, yeah In a Camaro on a Sunday afternoon I was riding my tent speed just thinking of you I saw your head slip down between his knees and I pictured your fingers dancing in his Levi's jeans And out your window you waved me a heavy metal sign Remember the days when she used to be my, my, my yeah, my, 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 my my, 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 mind Cause all girls want is bad boys With sleeveless t-shirts, cocaine and tattoos Holes in their jeans All I've got is skunk weed and vinyl records, garage bands and Pop songs, and minimum wage And all girls want is bad boys With sleeveless t-shirts, cocaine and tattoos Holes in their jeans all I've got is skunk weed and vinyl records, garage bands, pop songs, minimum wage, and I Well, can't you see through this hair metal? I believe that girl that you were better, oh. To sing you white snake, to sing you the crew, I thought you'd prefer the cure for us. Could do, 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 do
do do do do do do do do do do do do Now I sit out your window with my ghetto blaster to leave me only because his car was faster Is that what you did? And is that how it goes? And uh-oh, if only girl I would have ever known that All girls want is bad boys with sleeveless t-shirts, cocaine and tattoos, holes in their jeans Oh, I've got a skunk weed and vinyl records, garage bands, and pop songs, and minimum wage and oh, Girls want us bad boys with sleeveless t-shirts, cocaine and tattoos, holes in their jeans. Oh, I've got a skunk weed and vinyl records, garage bands, pop songs, a minimum wage and a whoa oh oh da 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 whoa oh 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 da 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 whoa oh 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 da 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 Whoa, oh, oh, da 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 da. All right, sitting down with Tanner James. Tanner, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for having me. All right, my man, well, let's dig in. A uh, bit of a decorated history, you know, we go back a little bit here in the music scene. You're now a singer, songwriter, storyteller, author, but it didn't start there. Uh, why don't we? Kind of take it back to back to the early days of the punk rock scene, man. Yeah, I'm, I wear a lot of different hats, Mike. So it's true. Let's talk about one of those hats. <laughs> which, which one do you want to start with, man? Uh, yeah, I, I grew up on uh, I grew up on a farm outside of Tabor, Alberta, and um, uh, it was sort of a cultural bubble. And when I say cultural bubble, I mean there was no culture in that <laughs> bubble, um, besides big pop country music that came to Lethbridge to the MX Center and was in a stadium. So uh, to be involved in the arts was kind of like landing on the moon. It was just out of the question. It wasn't didn't seem like in the realm of possibility. Right. And then um, I saw a punk rock band come through town and play an all age show when I was probably 14 or 15. And they put a crappy old PA in a van and, and set it up and put on the show, rented a community hall and promoted it themselves. And it was sort of a community do-it-yourself effort. And, um, and I remember th thinking, hey, I could do that. And that was sort of like where it all began. And it was empowering to, to see someone take it into their own hands and, and just do it, do it on their own terms and, uh, and not play the pop country machine. It was kind of cool. So Exactly. Well, it being so out of the element for, for what you were kind of used to, growing up farming town kind of thing, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so um, let's, uh, let's kind of dive in from there. So punk rock scene, you've done a couple, I, I've had the pleasure of working with you in a couple of different kind of forms, you know, with, uh, with artist management and also in health and fitness and all these kind of things. So I've seen the, the career, but yeah. um, how do you go from punk rock, Tabor, Alberta, like that doesn't really make sense in itself, but then the storybook career here now, uh, to be a touring musician, storytelling, and singer-songwriter, how did, how did this all unfold? Um, I think I'm always trying to like age gracefully and then also adapt to uh, sort of the artistic climate and, and stay afloat and stay relevant and find a way to uh, hustle and make a career as, a, as an artist or as a musician. Or, so. Um, yeah, I think punk rock was uh, the first thing that lit my fire, and then um, indie rock ha was a little bit more. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't as like put in a box as much. There's more creative control, and so indie rock was a nice transition, and it gave us lots of wiggle room and taught me how to play in a band, and um, uh, that was a beautiful experience. And then, uh, yeah, I remember seeing Jim Cuddy play in Edmonton one time, and I just thought, man, this guy gets cooler every year that goes by. Yeah. Like he just ages so gracefully. I'm yeah. like, that's what I want to do. I want to always like, I don't want to be like the old guy in the scene. I want to be like playing to my peers or to yeah. to people I respect kind of thing. So um, yeah, the folk kind of singer songwriter. Uh, I got to transition and be the young guy, yeah. as opposed to like the the aging indie rocker <laughs> or like the you know I'm 31 and that's pretty old for punk rock, right. but it's pretty young for folks. So. I'm just trying to make it work for me, really. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, and then let's talk about a new venture. I mean, like I said, author. How does, like, so storyteller, singer, songwriter, now author. And I've, I've actually got a copy of your book right here. I am the Lizard King. So how does this fit into the fold? 
I, I think I've always been a writer. Uh, I think I'm a writer more than a musician. So I'm, I'm a songwriter and I'm, a, uh, I'm an author and I'm a screenwriter and I've, I've always scribbled down poetry. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's where I come from. That's who I am. That's, that's how I express myself. Um, so I think that was a natural transition, something I've always wanted to do. Uh, and it was a good time to do it economically because I was dr I'm driving around the country and playing at folk clubs and playing in bars and cafes and theaters and house concerts and um, uh, CDs are no longer a viable way to yeah. make money off a merch stand and to share your music and the profit margin on vinyl is just not what it what CDs was and um, people are still buying books. The book industry is about 10, 15 years behind the music industry and it felt like a good Time, it felt like a good time to, to do it because um, I, I have a platform, I have a medium to, I have, I have the ability to, to tour a book like a punk rock artist and sell it off the merch stand and sort of, uh, I don't even have to sign with a small publishing press, I can create my own small, small publishing press and I can sell it and I can shake hands and kiss babies and, and yeah. do it sort of the old way. So That's perfect. That, that kind of goes back to the punk rock thing and sort right. of my ethics with, with music and art and, and also I guess with the book, um, now that I write songs and I do music for a living, I feel like I have to, I'm always thinking, will this song work on stage? And there's, there's, there's these artistic songs that I'm writing that I know aren't going to do anything for me or not going to find a place in my music. But the book, I could say and do whatever I wanted because there's no, I have no stake in the game. I, I'm, I like, at this point, I'm not making any money by writing books. I, I will, but, right. but yeah, so there's, there's an artistic freedom. All right, well, thank you very much, Tanner. How about we get back into some music from Tanner James? This song is called Living as an Artist in an Oil Town, and it's about living as an artist in an oil town. Take the bus to your studio on the east side of town, behind the tire shop and the glass repair, and your bank statement second guess, the second place to hide when Virginia Woolf is standing by your side. Living as an artist in an oil town I'm living as an artist in an oil town Twenty dollar breakfasts They line the trendy streets Either rising like the price of gasoline you got a job at the diner where I can't afford to eat But if I come by when you're working then it's free Well I can't remember rush hour, the lonely dark commute My days are now rival by the muse And the future is unwritten, but it's right beneath our feet I wait for the flailing sense of security And now I'm a little afraid of what happens now I'm living as an artist in an oil town I want to color outside, I want to color outside the lines I want to color outside, I want to color outside the lines I want to color outside, I want to color outside the lines I want to color outside, I want to color outside the lines Well the steam whistle blows to send the workers home And my day ends when the symbols finally crash I'm living as an artist in an oil town All right, welcome back. Continuing my conversation with Tanner James. Let's dig in, man. You've been a road warrior for some years now. Any advice for what you were doing back when you first started as opposed to now? Is there a win, a lose? Like, is there any rhyme or reason to how you're doing things now? Yeah, I think that touring is, is like dog years. Like, so one year on the road is equivalent to 
seven years, <laughs> seven really years. It takes off your life anyway, so I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I've been doing it for a long time. Um, things have changed. Uh, I used to have a lot more fun on the road and be a lot more footloose and fancy free and get yeah. into all sorts of trouble. And um, that was great, and I don't regret doing that. But now, because I do it so much, um, I have to try to keep my mental health in line and my physical health and um, uh, treat my body good and sort of be a sustainable touring machine. Absolutely. And, um, and so, yeah, that, uh, my diet and my behavior on the road, and I treat it like a job, and um, I show up and be a professional. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. I mean, yeah. it's, it's good to hear. As, as you know, my, my role in the industry is kind of the, the same thing, right? We want to make sure that this is treated like a, a profession. And um, with, your, with your years, I like the dog years kind of statement. That makes a lot of sense. And you do see a lot of guys kind of shortening their careers, would you say? Yeah. You know? yeah. And, and it's a shame because we've got some great music out there. Now, um, I know you speak some of the songs really from, from the heart, too, where we were talking about, you know, living as an artist in the old town, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming that's here, Calgary. Yeah, that's a, that's a niche song. Um, it's, it's, talk to me about that, because um, as the musical climate changes, right, like we're not in the same times that we were with the economics, but also as an artist yourself, you can't be that uh, um, mass-producing kind of artist selling stuff off the shelves. How's the game changed, and, and where do you see yourself fit kind of into the bill? Um, I think that, how's the game changed? I think that uh, the mediums have changed, so, so like everything's streaming nowadays and there's no monetary value in music. I think that there's a future in brand partnership and um, endorsements, and I think that that's maybe the, what the future holds for, for music, but as of right now, it's sort of anybody's guess. Um, so I'm trying to always adapt and be flexible and not be stuck in my ways and be willing to go with it. And um, yeah, this song, Living as an Artist in an Oil Town, I think that that's how I feel sometimes is that I'm the the last unicorn, yeah. I feel like I'm like this. I, it, sometimes I wonder why I live here. Okay. Um, but then there's also uh, enough reasons that I do and why I'm still here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that song's about sort of uh, feeling perplexed as to uh, why I'm paying rent in one of the most expensive cities in Canada. Right. That's uh, a, uh, traditionally an oil town that's changing, but yeah. traditionally. Are there, are there things that you could recommend like to other artists that are coming up through the ranks here? You've got like three pro tips or, or something uh, as, a, as an emerging artist to, to survive in, especially a, a place that has all the potential to be a music city. I mean, we really do here in Calgary, but there's some restrictions to it. So what are your three tips to uh, the emerging artist? Um, I think I wish someone would, told, would, would have told me these three things, so that's what I'm going to share with you. With everybody else, um, I think that uh, be willing to learn and be humble. And you know, when I say that, I mean you can. We have great resources, like a great provincial music organization that you can take advantage of and ask questions. And um, you know, we have good arts funding in in Canada and in Alberta and in Calgary. And to uh, to to try to get your foot in that door and to start work going down those roads. Um, I think number two would be to take care of yourself. I'd say industry that's soaked in trouble yeah. and um, <laughs> and I think that well it's fun to dabble sometimes I think that you need to uh, understand that you have to be professional if you want to get anywhere right. and number three uh, you take a lot from uh, the music industry and from uh, the community and don't be afraid to give back and to try to help build a scene and foster and develop something in our city yeah absolutely um, for the folks at home what uh where can where can we find Tanner James? Are you out on the road? Are you um, online? Where where are we able to? Well, check you can yourself come to out? a show and shake my hands. Uh, but if you want to surf from the comfort of your own uh, phone in your pocket or your uh, <laughs> home desktop or laptop, you can go to www.tannerjamesmusic.com, and uh, it will have all the information and uh, about the book release and the next album and all my tour dates and uh, a whole bunch of blog posts. Yeah, right. Yeah, perfect. And that's that's kind of the the name of the game going out back on the road. Yeah, it's kind of uh, always perpetually being yeah. in motion. That's perfect. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for, uh, for swinging by here today. Again, that was Tanner James, singer-songwriter from Calgary, Alberta. We danced, 
would dance like fools Under the stars that were shining there like jewels And we lay down in the grass We closed our eyes as we felt the music pass Maybe it's the way the river bends Maybe it's my long lost friends Maybe it's the way Chris Isaac is singing tonight Maybe it's the wine, maybe it's the moon Maybe it's a long lost country tune But baby, I think tonight we got it made yeah, Baby, I think tonight we got it made Vice confessor brings a flood. No one sings it quite like Nico does. And we laugh, we tell some jokes. We'll be right here, we'll leave phones at home. Maybe it's the way the river bends. Maybe it's my long lost friends. Maybe it's the way my heart is beating tonight Maybe it's the wine, maybe it's the moon Maybe it's a long lost country too But baby, I think tonight we got it made yeah, Baby, I think tonight we got it made So happy 35th You look real good, sound better than you ever did Stay gold, stay true And every July I'll be waiting here for you Well maybe it's the way the river bends Maybe it's my long lost friends Maybe it's the way Chris Isaac is singing tonight Maybe it's the wine, maybe it's the moon Maybe it's my heart beating for you But baby, I think tonight we got it made yeah, Baby, I think tonight we got it made